We're doing a Cajun chicken pasta for this episode of the meal prep series. It is also a one pot dish, so it's super easy to make and of course an easier cleanup. And this one isn't based on a certain diet. It is literally just good tasting food that you can have in your fridge or freezer whenever you want it. Let's get straight into it. Please sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, the prep is really easy for this recipe. We're going to need one brown or yellow onion. This has had its tip removed and obviously been peeled. We can then slice this in half through the root. Make thin slices across, stopping just before the root, which will hold it all intact. Make a horizontal slice through the center to break up the formation, then dice this into small to medium sized pieces, trimming off any excess flesh from around the root. Next is five cloves of garlic. These can be run along a fine microplane or box grater to create a paste. You can also give them a rough chop if you wanted to go that way. Last but not least for the knife work is 800 grams of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. We can slice this into thin strips and then just slice across to dice this into even sized pieces, but make sure they are the same size, that way they'll cook at the same rate. We can then add these to a large mixing bowl and then we're going to add in three and a half grams of both onion and garlic powder for nice concentrated flavors. Two and a half grams of both dried oregano and dried thyme for a nice herbaceous minty freshness. One gram of red chili powder, which is optional. Obviously that will add a nice little bit of heat. 10 grams of smoked paprika for nice smoky peppery notes. Season with a large pinch of sea salt flakes and of course cracked black pepper, about 20 cracks worth. Let's then get in there with a spoon, spatula or your clean hands, it's up to you. Just give this all a really good mix, making sure all of that chicken is covered in the spices. And if your chicken is not a different color after you've seasoned it, you definitely haven't seasoned it properly. Now with all that out of the way, place a large pan or pot over a high heat, add in 30 milliliters of olive oil and get this nice and hot. Then we can add in that seasoned chicken and we're going to spread it out evenly so it's not sitting on top of one another and just make sure we sear this for about two and a half to three minutes but be careful the spices can easily burn at this stage and if you do notice they get a little bit too dark just turn the pan down a little bit but keep the chicken moving around that way it will prevent it from burning once you have a nice golden sear on the chicken and the spices have released a lot of their flavor we can add in the onion and the garlic and then we're going to continue mixing this around for about another two and a half to three minutes just to get that onion translucent and that garlic to infuse its flavor into that chicken and those spices same again though just keep this moving just to prevent anything from burning at all next to go in is 750 milliliters of chicken stock this is going to deglaze the pan bringing up any of those stuck flavors as well as being the liquid that our pasta will cook in and then we're gonna follow that up with 600 grams of diced or crushed tomatoes. And this is about one and a half cans worth and you can save the other half for another dish or recipe. To that, also add in 200 milliliters of thickened cream. This is going to mix really well with the tomatoes to create a nice rose based sauce. Obviously seasoned to taste with sea salt flakes and cracked black pepper, about another 20 cracks worth. Let's then jump back in there with the spatula, mix it all really well for those flavors to become friends. And you'll notice that beautiful rose color start to form. And this mix with those herbs and spices creates the most fantastic flavored sauce. With it all mixed through though, we're going to allow it to come to a simmer. Then we're going to add in 600 grams of penne or a pasta of your choice, but I highly recommend penne because it's a great vessel to hold all of that sauce. Give this all a really good mix through, making sure each piece of penne is submerged in the sauce. And then we're going to allow this to cook for 15 minutes uncovered. And we're going to cook this over a medium high heat. And you want to make sure you stir this every now and again, just so nothing sticks to the bottom of the pot. Now after 15 minutes, you can see that this has thickened up really nicely and that pasta is perfectly al dente. Just give this another mix through. And if you really wanted to, you can chuck some flat leaf parsley in there to give this a pop of color. But with that done, just remove it from the stovetop. As for serving up, this will evenly divide between five meal prep containers. They're 750 milliliters in size if you're wondering, and I do have a link for these in the description. We're gonna top these with some freshly grated Parmesan cheese and cracked black pepper, which both are optional. But that leaves us with these absolutely delicious, creamy Cajun chicken pasta meal preps that are perfect for any time of the week. And like I said in the intro, this isn't for a specific diet. It is just great tasting food, as you can see, as per the macro cards right here. Okay, so with everything done, we now have all of these portioned out. I do recommend letting them cool down for about 20 minutes, just because we don't want to make these steam if we place the lids on. But once they have cooled down, put the lids on. They'll last in the fridge for up to four days and in the freezer for up to four months. You can eat these cold or you can reheat them, place them back in a pan or in a microwave just until they're hot. It is completely up to you. As always though, the best part about all of this is of course we can then dig in. The flavor in that is nice and smoky. It's a little bit sweet. You've got the cream and tomato creating that nice rosé sauce, which is a perfect texture for something like this. And of course, it's all cooked in the one pot, so it's super easy to clean up. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It really does help me out and consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.